Hi there, this is Kala Electronics maybe. Yes, I'm back here after a very long time because I was stuck with something, uh, some personal uh, issues as well as uh, to settle my professional life. But I promise that I'll try to make as many videos as I can uh, from now. So uh, coming to today's video uh, is very much related to these things, uh, lead acid batteries or lithium ion batteries. So whatever batteries it might be, uh, when if you take a big battery, uh, this is not a very big battery, but there's a 12 volt battery power in this bench uh, for the rechargeable lights, etc, etc. So such batteries need protection from short circuits because uh, coming in my case where you know I'll be doing a few circuits etc and there is a chance that the circuits can get shorted or by mistake I might short the positive and negative terminals but in that case there is a very well chance that the battery gets shorted and a very high current flows to the terminals so here the problem is one is that the battery can get damaged and the second problem is that because of the high current, uh, maybe if you consider a lead acid battery uh, which is powering this bench, uh, which is a 12 volt 7 amp hour battery, uh, there is a chance that the high current as high as 20 30 amps can pass through a, car, a wire and it can burn and even cause a fire accident. So, to protect from such accidents and uh, issues, we are going to make a short circuit protection circuit. Let's see how it's done. So this is the circuit that I designed and it's a pretty simple circuit. It has a single relay here. So this is a relay. I used a 12 volt relay. I use a relay because if you use a transistor, there's always a certain part of the current flowing through the uh, circuit. So if I use a relay, it will completely cut it out from the source and destination. So I used a 12 volts relay and this is a simple diode, one end. 4007 diode and this is a any transistor you can use and mostly it is an NPN, tran, NPN transistor if you are using a PNP transistor then a part of the circuit will change because here it is biased to switch on at positive voltage uh, if you use an NPN you should bias it or you should change the circuit such that it switches on on a negative voltage and this 33 kilo ohm resistor is connected here to maintain a voltage here at the base of this transistor. Here I am using a BC548 transistor because uh, for many reasons one is that it is a very cheap transistor easily available and in this lockdown time I only have this one available I couldn't go out for shopping. So this is a simple circuit so once you connect uh, the voltage here I am using say 13.2 volts or something uh, that is a battery lead acid battery at full uh, charge that is 13.2 volts and the voltage on the other side will be a drop of 0.6 volts because there is a diode connected here so this is how 0.6 volts drop so here it will be 12 here if you to be 12.6 volts or something and the reason for using this diode is because we are using the collector here and also the base is connected to the same positive rate. If you don't connect the diode, what will happen is the potential here and at the base will be the same and the transistor won't switch on. So if you use a diode here, it will have a 0.6 volts potential difference between the collector and the base and will switch on the transistor. And a transistor needs at least 0.3 volts, I guess, to switch on at its base. So initially once you switch on the circuit, what will happen is, I mean once you give the power at the uh, input, the circuit, if the relay is in switch on, so this is a normally open uh, connection, that means that you know when you connect the voltage, uh, say for example the relay is on or uh, the relay is off, that means uh, the relay is open and there won't be any potential, resistor, uh, transistor will be switch off. And the relay will be off and there won't be any current flowing from this side. To switch it on, what I'll do is, I'll pass a certain amount of current to the base of this transistor. I'll connect uh, maybe a 1 kilo ohm resistor with a small switch. This is a small switch, push switch with a resistor to the base. So once I press this, the transistor will switch on, the relay will be on, current will be flowing, this will close and the current will be flowing. And once I remove this, there will be current flowing from this side to the base and the transistor will be switched on still. And the 
uh, current will be flowing and the load whatever you connect here will be on so what happens is suddenly there was some uh, issue and the output got shorted in that case what will happen is this base of the transistor will be connected to the negative uh, rail and this voltage will drop to zero volts the same voltage as this one and the transistor will switch off once it switches off this will be open relay will be off there won't be any current flowing and the output uh, will be switched off so it's disconnected from the short circuit so even if you remove the short circuit now the relay won't switch on automatically as as, a, as uh, we did before we have to press this push switch to switch on the transistor and let the current flow again so this is a simple circuit let's make it and see if it works So this is the circuit that we designed and if you see I added a switch here, this is a push switch and for load I have added a 12 watt LED here and this one and I have left the terminals open so that we can test by shorting this and one more modification that I did was this red color LED here which is connected to the normally closed side of this relay because this LED is connected to the normally open side so when it is loaded I mean when it is working the LED will be on or the load whatever is connected will be on but when I short this the relay will switch and connect to this red LED and when this red LED is glowing that means the output has shorted and it caused an issue so now let's test it I am powering this from this wire which is connected to a 12 volt battery under my workbench and this is a load wire connected to this 12 volt uh, 12 watt LED and this is a push switch so let's test it let me give the power so as you can see once I switch down switch on and give 12 volts uh, input this red LED will be on indicating that the circuit is currently switched off or in reset mode so if you see the load LED is also not switched on now I'll press this reset button so I just pressed it once this is not a push to on push to off switch this is a push switch only so when you press it it's on when you leave it it's off so please remember and as you can see the LED is glowing now now let's short the output and see if it works so I connected these two wires I'll short them so as you can see it's still shorted uh, there's no power flowing through us uh, otherwise it would have uh, triggered a spark and if you see here the red LED is glowing again indicating that the there was a short circuit and the LED switched uh, the relay has switched so let me reset the circuit again by pressing this button so once I reset it the, again the load will be on there's an issue the wires are shorted you'll switch over so as you can see if I, even if I hold it both the wires together there's no short circuit happening so there's no issue there's no power flowing through it until I reset it so that's all for today's video if you like this video you might like some of my other videos too please do check them out at my channel and please share this video with the people who are interested in learning electronics and new projects. Please also subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get regular updates on my new videos. Thank you.